Welcome to IPWEA's 2018 Top 10 Hot Issues in Street Lighting and Smart Controls. This is brought to you by our industry experts and we hope you find it really useful and helpful. Thank you. Questions have been raised about the possibility of LEDs causing excessive glare. What would you say to customers about how best to manage this issue? So glare is an interesting question. Uh, I think uh, it's a challenge for the whole industry uh, at the moment because of uh, the new LED technology having very different characteristics uh, as compared to more conventional uh, types of lighting technology. Um, there's also a degree of, of subjective perception to glare. It depends on the ambient lighting, uh, on the angle that you look at the light source, how far you are away from the light source uh, and things like that. Um, there are some solutions at GE, we have a whole range of, of mirror and reflector options where um, the light source is not directly visible, uh, which minimizes uh, a glare for the observer. Uh, and there is also um, other solutions like accessories, um, mask visors, glare shields, louvers and so on, uh, the customers should be, uh, should be looking at when, uh, when opting for LED fittings. In terms of road lighting for glare, the best way or the, the best practice is to have a flat glass, is to have full cutoff, um, design validation to make sure that, that glare is kept within in limits, but most importantly, proper installation. All of the complaints we hear about glare have either been inappropriate product or poor installation. This is a tougher one for road lighting. Typically in Australia and New Zealand, our lighting levels are in fact lower than other parts of the world, and our spacings are much further apart. In traditional lighting, you have a much bigger form factor. And so our design, our preference for design, in fact, is to use a higher quantity of LED rather than a smaller quantity of high power LED, which really gives the benefit of perceived by the end users of less glare. I think uh, the standard has done a good job looking at glare aspects. There's probably an area of 10 to 15 percent that could still be improved based on the fact that you're looking at LED and not previous technology. I think it's important to make sure that your performance in terms of photometry and distribution is properly evaluated so that the peak intensities of glare uh, from a driver's perspective is considered within a design approach. The reputable suppliers would tend to take this into account when looking at a design. The best approach to minimize the glare is a quality design with a quality product. With a quality LED and a design that uh, considers the adaptability of the light and, and, the, and optimizes the optics of the light, uh, glare shouldn't be an issue. Our view is that LED gives you the ability to direct light in a more accurate manner than any previous technology. Therefore, there should be the ability to reduce glare through the use of LED. Customers should look at a well-designed luminaire and a good lighting design verified by a professional to achieve the right glare compliance. On the other hand, customers should also look at luminaires which allow for installation of anti-glare lures, which will reduce the impact of glare on, on critical locations. Mm -hmm.